ओके स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम यू ऑल लेट्स टॉक अबाउट टूडे स्टूडेंट्स अबाउट योर एंडोक्राइन ग्लैंड एंड देयर हार्मोन्स दैट आर गोइंग टू सिक्रेटेड बाय देम ओके सो विद इन टेन टेन मिनट्स सो लेट्स स्टार्ट स्टूडेंट विदाउट वेस्टिंग टाइम सो स्टूडेंट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इफ वी टॉक अबाउट द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ एंडोक्राइन ग्लैंड दैट आर गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट इन अवर बॉडी दे आर गोइंग टू बी पिट्यूटरी ग्लैंड पीनियल ग्लैंड थायरॉइड ग्लैंड पैराथायरॉइड ग्लैंड एड्रीनल ग्लैंड पेनक्रियाज थाइमस एंड गोनेट्स सो स्टूडेंट्स the very first gland if you see hypothalamus hypothalamus students is going to be the part of the brain basically but it will be releasing certain hormones that will be controlling the pituitary gland that is the master gland of the body so student the hormones that are going to be released by the hypothalamus they are going to be releasing and inhibiting hormones so two types of hormones our hypothalamus releases inhibiting hormones and the releasing hormones and students these hormones will be regulating the hormones that are releasing from the anterior part of the pituitary if in releasing hormone will be secreted the anterior pituitary will release the, that hormone if inhibiting hormones is secreted then anterior pituitary will not secrete those hormone okay so releasing and inhibiting hormones students will be secreted by the hypothalamus next to it students the pituitary gland that is going to be the master gland of the body if you see student just downside to the hypothalamus okay these two bulb like structure if you see these are going to pituitary gland they are having basically two parts mainly the posterior pituitary and the anterior pituitary okay so posterior pituitary will be releasing two hormones and your anterior pituitary releases more like a few hormones that are going to be very important physiologically in the body of humans so students if we talk about the different hormones they are going to be the growth hormone that will be helping in the growth of the body then prolactin helping in the milk release after that students if we talk about other hormones they are going to be acth the adrenocorticotropic hormone that will be controlling the adrenal gland tsh that is controlling the thyroid gland thyroid stimulating hormone then lh is there and fsh is there luteinizing hormone and your follicle stimulating hormone these two hormones students will be controlling the gonads that is going to be testis and ovary in release of their hormones that are going to be testosterone estrogen and progesterone so these are going to be students some important hormones that are going to be released by the pituitary gland this uh, if we talk about one more important hormone that is going to be students adh adh also going to be released anti diuretic hormone that is also known as vasopressin by the pituitary gland okay now students next to it if we talk about the next gland is going to be pineal gland pineal gland is also associated students in the uh, brain only if you see one of the very important hormone melatonin will be secreted by the pineal gland that will be regulating the sleep and wake cycle and other circadian rhythms in the body okay so students this is going to be pineal gland and its hormone uh, melatonin after that student next hormone is going to be that will be secreted by the thyroid gland so student thyroid gland is going to be a kind of butterfly shaped uh, particular gland that is present in the neck region okay this particular gland students releases three types of hormones one that is thyroxine t4 and your triiodothyronine that is going to be t3 these two hormones students are very important and the like uh, if thyroxine is not released in well quantity then only one of the very common disease this is going to be goiter that happens because of this thing only okay hyposecretion of your thyroxine then students we are having calcitonin that will be regulating the calcium levels in the blood that is also released by the thyroid gland so student these three important hormones thyroxine triiodothyronine and your uh, like uh, calcitonin they will be released by the thyroid gland after that students we are having four these particular th parathyroid gland situated on the four corners of our thyroid gland on the back side this particular parathyroid gland student it also releases one very important hormone that is going to be parathyroid hormone or your pth this hormone students will be regulating again the calcium like metabolism uh, calcium levels in the blood okay and students also the phosphorus levels in the blood so calcium and phosphorus level if you see they are going to be regulated by calcitonin also and parathyroid gland also by its secretion uh, this parathyroid hormone okay so students this is your parathyroid gland its hormone and its function after that students we talk about adrenal gland adrenal gland is students that are going to be present over the kidneys in this particular crown or cap like form they releases few very important hormones just like your cortisol corticoids basically adrenaline and your aldosterones okay so adrenaline is students that is also known as your emergency hormone it is released by the adrenal gland only okay after that students let's talk about your next particular gland that is going to be pancreas pancreas students 
it's a very different type of gland student it has two portions one that is going to be exocrine it does not secrete any hormone but it secretes enzymes that will be helping us in the nutrition process of digestion of food just like a trypsin okay pancreatic amylase and lipase enzymes okay but students this pancreas also have one of the endocrine portion from where it releases the hormones so students the hormones that will be released by the pancreas from its endocrine portion they are going to be insulin insulin decreases the level of glucose in the blood and prevents us from the diabetes disease glucagon glucagon will be helping students to increase the glucose level in the blood okay and after that students there one more hormone that is going to be there that will be released that is somatostatin that will be regulating the release of both of these two but then that is not that much important and not here uh, basically so these two important hormones students that are going to be released by the pancreas are insulin and glucagon both will be responsible to maintain the blood sugar or blood glucose levels after that students next particular gland that is going to be thymus so students if we talk about the thymus thymus will be releasing one very important hormone that is the thymosin and thymosin students having very important role in maintenance of our immune system okay because this particular gland thymus will be helping in the maturation process of lymphocytes that are going to be one of the very important wbcs okay and uh, that's why this hormone also thymosin that is released by thymus having a very important role in that so this hormone will be helping us to like uh, get good immune power okay now next to it students we are having gonads if we talk about the students gonads gonads are going to be ovary a pair of ovary in the females and a pair of testis that is going to be present in the males so these are going to be the gonads or you can say primary sex organs it means the organs that are related to sexual activities in the like humans will be releasing the gametes okay there will be several other reproductive organs also in the body that will be helping in the process of overall reproduction but they are not releasing the gametes so they are the secondary sexual organs but the primary sexual organs if you see that will be releasing the gamete these are the gonads ovary in the female and testis in the males these particular gonads or primary sex organ students also releases certain very important hormones also what are these hormones if we talk about students females their ovary release estrogen and progesterone these two hormones are very important students estrogen will be helping in giving the secondary sexual characteristic to the females and your progesterone will be the pregnancy hormone will be helping during the process of pregnancy to the like uh, women okay after that students if we talk about the hormone that will be released by the testis it is going to be testosterone so in males secondary sexual characters are going to be given by the testosterone and testosterone will also be helping in the overall development and proper functioning of the reproductive system in the males same uh, similar to that estrogen will be helping in the proper functioning of the reproductive system in the females also okay so these are going to be students very important uh, like uh, hormones that are going to be released by the gonads or you can say primary uh, sex organs okay so students this is going to be some of the slides over your uh, hormones and their endocrine glands let's meet in next wonderful session with some other important topic within 10 minutes till then take care keep studying keep growing bye bye everybody